Good morning, Keyboard Cowboys. Everything is all bright. Anyways, what'd you think of the intro? I think it's gonna stay. After all, I guess it's inevitable that I have to start branding this thing just a little bit. It's all about accessibility, you see? It's about leaving those little spaces open that new people can understand and squeeze into. Like exploring the meaning of living. Ooh, that sounds interesting. What's that? It's a tagline. It's a marketing strategy. But even more than a marketing strategy, it's an ideology. I recently watched a TED Talk given by a person named Simon Sinek. Sinek, I'm gonna call him Sinek. In this TED Talk, he explains why people and businesses who have so much more resources than other people still don't succeed against those people. People like the Wright brothers who figured out how to fly while Samuel Langley, who had the New York Times following him everywhere, loads of funding and all kinds of other nice little benefits, didn't. He explains that people follow what you believe in, not what you're selling. Presidents can make as many 12-point plans as they want, but they're not exactly inspiring. And after all, Martin Luther King had a dream, not a plan. Web 2.0, selling you beliefs. But of course I'm kidding, it'd take more than an intro and a slogan to turn me into a corporate whore. Right now I'm more of a... Corporate sleazebag. Ha 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 ha. Though while I was at VidCon, I did have a discussion about selling t-shirts. If I sold a t-shirt, what the hell would it be? It'd be a t-shirt with my bare chest on it. Yeah, that way whenever any keyboard cowboy wears it, they can be totally ironic and be aware of the fact that they're being embarrassed by their own corporate branding. Yes, because that's what we do at the Hayway. We're all about the corporate whoring. Man, I'm saying whoring a lot today. You're only a whore if you cheat on people. This really matters to me. It's an important distinction to make. Sexual freedom is key. We live in America, not... No sex land. Why, why am I talking about this? I'm going to go shave. And you're only a whore if you cheat on people a lot, because people make mistakes. Just wanted to clarify that. the GOC. Well, I'm guessing most of you don't know what the GOC is. Don't ask what it stands for, nobody knows. Well, when a vlogger starts to get a little bit bigger or they do something like put on an intro, then the GOC comes and finds them. Apparently I've fallen under their jurisdiction because the intro I made was too good. They're just a bunch of losers. Generals of courtliness. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever, I'm angry. I don't have to make sense. No, it can't just be the intro. Why the hell are they coming for me? Wait, le let me check some things. Oh, that would be why. Damn it. Thanks, Michael Aranda. Jeez. Well, it's not really your fault, so it's, it's all right. I hope you enjoy the show. And keyboard cowboys, things are getting serious. Yeah, yeah, GOC.